Welcome everyone to the eighth session of Tuesday Tonic. Wow. And the theme this week is standing tall. So that's to do with helping you learn to physically stand tall through working particularly and looking at the spine. But also it's a metaphorical title which is linking into what is currently going on in the world. Uh, we said a few months ago we're going through unprecedented times and that just seems to be expanding more and more with uh, different situations that are evolving. Presenting an opportunity for great awakening to put all of the wrongs that we've uh, managed to establish in the world on our value system as a human species this is our chance now to put that right um, there is a wonderful uh, saying by charles darwin about the survival of the species any species and he says it's not to do with how strong or how intellectual the species is it's to do with its ability to adapt in changing circumstances well, that's very timely for now because we are going through incredibly changing times and we have the power to make the change that we wish to see in the world. So as you relax, I'm just going to expand on that through um, a speech that was used by Nelson Mandela in his inaugural speech in 1994 and it was written by an American lady called Marianne Williamson. So if you just begin to settle down on your hardback chair, those of you that are joining us for the first time, it's advised you work on a hardback chair and you may see that I've got a block or you could use cushions to support your feet if you've got quite short legs. So to start with, you're going to sit back and allow the back to be supported against the chair and just rest your hands somewhere on your legs. And if you're comfortable to close your eyes, close your eyes or just drop the eyes down towards the floor and just start to check into your body knowing that for the next 30 minutes this is your pause you've pressed pause on the, the chaotic surroundings of the world that we're finding ourselves in and just giving yourself an opportunity to reconnect your inner peace which is always there we just need to take the time to find it. Slowing the breathing down now. So becoming aware of the breath. If you can breathe in and out through the nose. And see if you can consciously slow it down and start to make it more steady. And as you make the breath more steady, feel the body parts relaxing. The legs hips, feeling the hips sinking into the chair, the back fully supported against the back of the chair, shoulders relaxed, arms, hands and fingers are soft, and the head is just resting on top of the shoulders. And as you just focus on quieting the breath and letting the body soften and be supported in the chair, I'll read to you this speech. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented and fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? Your playing small doesn't serve the world. There's nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people will not feel insecure around you. You were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It's not just in some of us, it's in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously Give people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. So 
something to think about and to work with through your practice today, working on reconnecting to your inner light and letting it shine. So if you can just bring your back away from the back of the chair and sit upright, you can keep your eyes closed for this moment if you like and you're comfortable. So you're sitting as upright as you possibly can, the head supported nicely on top of the shoulders. And I want you to visualize the breath moving in through both nostrils, taking that breath down the spine towards the tailbone. And as you take that breath down, feel that you're really grounding. And then as you breathe out, you're exhaling the breath up the spine and out through either the nose or the crown of the head, whichever feels more comfortable as a visualization for you. And repeating that, breathing in, taking that breath down, earthing you, grounding yourself in your seat, and then exhaling. As you exhale up, imagine you're lifting up from the base of the spine, helping to create space in that spine and through the crown of the head. And I'd like you to continue in this way for several breaths. And as you do, I want you to think about uh, the quality of the branch of a willow tree, for example. So if you think about the trunk of that tree, it's very sturdy, but the branches are so malleable and soft and movable. And that is how I'd like you to focus your spine and your, your upper body for the rest of the session. Just keep bringing back to the qualities of the willow branch. And the willow branch doesn't snap in a storm because it bends, it's malleable. And if you feel you just want to sway from side to side and connecting with the qualities of that willow tree branch, then do feeling soft and malleable, very strong, still contained, but you can bend with the winds of change that are upon us, so you're not going to snap. So this is about building you up, creating resistance in a very subtle way, okay? And then coming to a place of stillness. And then when you're ready, open the eyes. So checking that those feet feel grounded and firmly planted on the ground. We're going to breathe in the life force from a seated position. You're going to take the arms out to the side and lift them as high as you can above the head, if you can, to a prayer position. That's all in the in-breath. And then you're going to exhale the arms out to the side and down. And again, inhale, up. And a couple more. Inhale. Exhale down. One more. Inhale. Exhale down. Okay. So from here, just check that those feet are directly below the knees. If you need to take the block side before you do. And then you're going to cross your arms and rest them on your thighs. Now that may be enough for you, and if that is, you stay here, okay? Just stay at the point where you feel okay. Don't move beyond where you feel you're moving um, to a place that doesn't feel safe for you, okay? And the sense of exhaling and um, lifting as you did at the beginning, so as you breathe in, you're drawing that breath down to the base of the spine, then you exhale up the spine and either out through the nose or the crown of the head. And as you work, you may feel that you can drop those arms down and keep the head slightly forward because you want to keep the back nice and straight. So this exhalation has a very clear channel outwards, out through the nose or the crown of the head. A couple more breaths. Inhale, down onto the base of the spine. Exhale, from the base of the spine, up the spine, and out through the upper body. One more breath. Good. And then you're going to inhale the arms forward, if you can. If you can't, just lift the back up. Inhale, up. Exhale, the arms out to the side. And then you're going to take the hands behind you 
and back bend. So you're thrusting the chest forward, let the head roll back and breathe. Okay, you're going to repeat that. Um, but if you want to take it further, if you feel you're going to give yourself a bit more uh, of a challenge, you can sit further forward on your mat and have your legs straight. And if you're working in this way, perhaps you can inhale the arms up and then sit a little bit more forward and then you're going to exhale forward and down. And if you can, either touch your legs or interlock your fingers around your toes and then you're going to breathe and extend from the base of the spine forward. I'm just going to let my head drop a bit so there's no tension in the neck. Inhale down to the base of the spine, exhale forward. Couple more breaths here. One more breaths. And then you're going to inhale up, either bringing the arms up alongside the ears and lifting up, or just lifting the back up and take the arms out to the side. Again, the hands can just come behind uh, the back there and thrust that chest out and breathe. Okay, moving into some uh, alternate leg raises and ankle rolls. So sitting upright from, uh, lifting up from the base of the spine, keeping the back as tall as you can. We're going to inhale the right leg up and try to straighten it. And if you can lift it off the bottom of the chair, do exhale down. Beware that your back doesn't roll back as you work. Left leg, inhale, lift. Keep the body upright, zip that tummy up so it's working for you. Exhale down. And the right leg, inhale, lift. Exhale down. Inhale, lift. Exhale down. This time we're going to inhale, lift and hold. So inhale, lift. If you can, and then can you circle your foot so you're working into your ankle joint. And the other way, keep that tummy zipped up. Harder work than you might think. And then exhale that down. And then the other leg, inhale up. You do the same, circle one way, keep the tummy zipped up, and the other way. And exhale down. Should we go for two legs now? I remember we did this the first week. I have some interesting comments afterwards, but let's see how you can manage it this week. Inhale up, circle those feet if you can, one way. Excellent. Okay, moving into the shoulders, lifting up on the base of the spine. You're going to take the arms out to the side and you're going to clasp the hands behind you, behind the back of the head, and push the thumbs down into the neck of the neck. So it's going to look like this. You see? My hands are at the back and I'm pushing hands into the neck of the neck. I'll just show you there. It might be a bit clearer. All right. So in that position, you're going to take the elbows back. And then what you're trying to do is draw the wings of the back together. So as you exhale, you take the elbows back on the in-breath. Just take a pause and relax a little bit. And then exhale, elbows back. Inhale, release the pressure a couple more times. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, can you do two more? Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, good, and release those fingers, take the arms out to the side and down, give those shoulders a roll. One way, and then the other way. Okay, you're going to take the arms out to the side now, make a 
W shape with the arms. So as you do that, you're bending the elbows and the arms are coming quite level with the head. And you're trying to keep uh, the arms as two-dimensional and in line with the shoulders as possible, okay, to start with. And then it's going to move. So I just want you to have that sense of awareness that those elbows are as in line with the shoulders as possible. Before we go anywhere, can you just circle the wrists one way? We've not really done much work on the wrists or the hands over the last few weeks, so this is something um, I'd like to start to introduce. And then whilst we're here, can you just touch the forefinger to the thumb, then the middle finger to the thumb, then the ring finger to the thumb, and the little finger to the thumb, and the little finger to the thumb, ring finger to thumb, middle finger to thumb, forefinger to thumb, and flatten those hands back so they're facing the screen now. Okay, and we're going to exhale and take the elbows back, keep the back straight, inhale, release forward, exhale back, inhale forward, exhale, inhale, keep breathing in and out through the nose, exhale, <clears throat> inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, two more, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and reach up, wriggle those fingers, exhale, the arms out, side down, just roll those shoulders, and give the neck a roll as well if you need to, that might have eked out and eased quite a bit of tension you might have been holding in the neck there. Okay, let's look at another spinal twist. We always like to have a spinal twist, which is a great lateral twist with spine. Are you able to lift this right leg up and cross it onto the opposite thigh? If you can, can you do that please? If that's not happening for you, then just keep the foot down. You can still do the spinal twist. This is just a little add-on. All right, so what you're going to do is lift up from the base of the spine, place your opposite hand on that knee, Take your right hand behind the chair, hold on to it somewhere, inhale, lift up from the base of the spine, and then exhale, turning to your right, and see how far around you can spot, and breathe. Deep breaths. And again, if you want to visualize, drawing that breath in through the nose, down the spine, and then exhale from that tailbone, up the spine, and out through the crown of the head, then do it. So there's that sense of continuing to grow tall through the spine. With every out breath, you're creating a bit more space there. Next, in breath, and then you're exhaling back round. Fantastic. Okay. Just shake out that leg you need to turn it out. Place that foot you want um, ankle to be directly below the knee. And then if you're able to cross that leg over onto the thigh, do. Right hand onto the left knee. Left hand, hold on to the back of the chair. Inhale, lift up from the base of the spine. And then exhale, growing tall as you exhale round and breathe. Deep breaths with every exhalation, a sense of lengthening, lifting up. Keep the shoulders down. <laughs> we don't want to engage the shoulders into this. We don't want our shoulders to meet the ears. We keep the shoulders down so that then the neck still has opportunity to grow and lengthen as well. Deep breaths, couple more. And then inhale, forward, and just release. And do what you need to do. <clears throat> okay, so what we're looking at now, this can be done from sitting or it can be done from standing. So we'll look at it sitting and then we'll have a go at doing it standing if you feel able to do that. So again, sitting at the front of your chair, 
You're going to inhale the arms shoulder height and forward, palms facing to one another. And then it's as if you are extending forward, okay? So you're extending forward from the base of the spine and breathe. And you keep looking forward directly ahead of you. And a couple more breaths. So you really feel that lengthening from the base of the spine. And then if you can, inhale, arms up, or just come back to where you were. Okay, we're going to try that standing if you feel able to. So I'm going to just move my chair. You can just walk to the back of your chair but so that you can see clearly what I'm demonstrating here. Let's take that a bit forward. So you start by uh, standing feet hip width apart, okay? And you're just going to start to step back, okay? And you're going to go as far as you feel comfortable. So just stop at any point. You know, what you don't want is the chair to slide away from you, so be aware of that, okay? And if you're ultimately going to move to a place which is like a 90 degree angle, just move my head, okay? And there can be a tendency then to just let the back drop and swoop. What I'd like you to do is to get in touch with your core and connect with this rib cage, which we've talked a lot about in the previous Tuesday tonics, um, all available on YouTube if you want to catch up with them that way on the uh, channel Kerry Yoga Light, it's all there. Okay, so what you'd like to do, or what I'd like you to do is to zip up that tummy and draw these ribs so that they're aligned, so they're not swooping down, so you've got this beautiful line. And then I want you to focus on breathing into your rib cage, which we've done quite a bit of work on. If that doesn't make sense to you, then do go back to the previous Tuesday tonics. And as you do that, you'll feel the expansion of those floating ribs moving out in the diaphragm. So a couple more breaths like this. Two more breaths. And I'm going to start to walk back. Great. Okay, if you feel a bit lightheaded as you take some deep breath work, just stand there for a moment and keep supporting yourself by holding the chair. And we come away from that when you feel comfortable and fully okay. Right. So we breathed in the life force from sitting at the beginning of the session. We're now going to breathe in the life force standing and again if you are unable to stand you can continue to work on your chair quite simply if you're in tadasana the standing posture or the seated tadasana and you are going to inhale the arms out to the side and up and then exhale the arms down straightforward yeah but we're going to add to that as well so that's not all so you're going to inhale the arms out to the side and as you do that can you move on to tiptoes and then exhale the arms out to the side and down. And we're going to practice that a few more times. Inhale, arms out to the side and up. Exhale, arms out to the side and down. Think about your core. Zip up your tummy. Inhale. Anyone want to try that in free space? Inhale. Exhale. Three more. Stay strong. Focused. Inhale. Standing tall. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale, exhale, down and relax. And hopefully when you relax, you don't just go into a slump. Hopefully when you relax, you just stand exactly as you are. That means you're training your body really well if nothing really moves at the point of relax. <clears throat> Last posture, standing again. And again, if you're sitting, you can work um, with the legs. 
holding on to the side with uh, one hand. You're going to work on your left leg first. So place your hand in half prayer. Send the energy through your right foot so you're rooted. And then can you lift that left leg up so the knee is level with the hip? Keep that tummy zipped up. Keep growing tall in every breath. And then, you know, you might feel that you can just give that foot a little wiggle. I want you to try and get that lower foot to be really malleable. Think of the willow branch again. And then you may feel that you can swing that leg out to the side. And maybe give it a little sway. Okay. And then you may feel that you can come into balance here. Just hanging out. Keep pulling up through that right foot, the supporting leg. Deep breaths. Exhaling if it helps out through the crown of the head. Or imagine the cord lifting you all the way up to the sky. And then place the hand back onto the chair if you took it off. Bring that knee forward. Exhale down. And give yourself a little wiggle. Uh, you don't have to, but well, actually I think you might do this. Um, <clears throat> Standing to the other side of the chair now, so you've got free leg space to move. So <clears throat> working up to the side, so your your left leg is now rooted down, bringing your right hand into half prayer, pulling up through that supporting foot until you can free this uh, right leg, lifting the knee if you can, level with the hips, and just circling those ankle joints. <clears throat> Nice and soft little leg. Think how malleable that is. Maybe a little swing in the knee area. And then taking it over, if you can, to the right side. And then if you feel you can take that even further, bring the hands, the other hand to meet the prayer. Anjali Mudra. Pulling up through that foot. Strong and tall. Get in touch with your core. Strong core to support you. And then take hold of that chair again. Inhale that knee forward. Exhale down. And relax. Just give those hips a little wiggle if you are standing. And if you're sitting in a chair, you can still have a wiggle around. And then it's time for relaxation. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me. Sitting back in your chair, relaxing. <sighs> if you want to take a sigh, take a sigh. Let go of any residue of tension that you might be holding in the body. And close your eyes. If you're comfortable to, otherwise taking the eyes down to the floor. And just checking in to the feet and the ankles, relaxing them. Relaxing the calves, the knees. Relaxing the thighs, relaxing the hips, feel that bottom fully supported. Relaxing lower back, middle back, upper back. Relaxing shoulders and the back of the neck. Relaxing arms, hands and fingers. Relaxing all the muscles in the face. Feeling the entire body relaxing deeper as you just give this moment to yourself to just be. Right here, right now, you're okay in this moment. And then when you're ready, taking a deep breath. If you're not ready to come to just at the moment and stay and relax for a little bit longer, 
those of you that are ready to come away, just come up to sitting. Let's take a stretch with the arms up. Exhale and down. Make sure you can give yourself a little bit of time before you continue with the rest of your day. This is profound work and things do come to the surface. So be mindful of that and be kind to yourself, most importantly. See you next week. Namaste. Namaste.